happened to me at the store? Did you? I went to the store by myself, mm. and um, mm. I went to go buy, I went to Target, and I went to go see if they had some edge control or whatever. So I went in there, and this lady, she just kept following me, but she was like pushing the basket, and she just kept, like, it looked creepy. So I went to another part of the store. She was still following. I'm like, what the heck? And this was early in the morning because I took Soleil to school. So, this so, was yesterday. No, nah, this was a. No, this could have been any day because I haven't been going to stay in the bed. So this probably was last two weeks ago, maybe. Oh. And so, only ones in the store because it's early in the morning. And I'm like, okay. So I get in the line and, she, and it's the only, you know how they have all the lines closed? Mm -hmm. All the lines closed except for this one. And so I was like, ugh, and she was in it. And so. In the front or in the back? In the front of me. And so I was like, crap. So I just stayed away like, you know, six feet, COVID. And so she just still looking at me and looking at the red cast version lady or whatever. Why didn't say nothing? I did. Well, okay. She came to me and she was like, "I'm sorry, I keep looking at you." And I was like, "Yeah, you're creeping me out." And she was like, "Well, you just look like my daughter." And I said, "I get that a lot." Everybody say I look like it. She looked mixed or something. I don't remember. Uh, she looked mixed, but she was just like, "You just look like my daughter." And I was like, "I get a lot of that. I get a lot of people say I look like somebody. I got a doppelganger out there somewhere." And so she was like, but my daughter died mm, a year ago. I was like, oh, right. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, is there any? I mean, I wish it's something I could do. No. I was like, I wish it's something I could do for you. I'm sorry. And she was like, well, I thought she was going to act like, can I take a picture with you or something? All of us like, but no, she was like, just when I walk out the door, can you just say, mom, I'll see you later. Love you. And then I just keep going. I was like. I will think about that. It's kind of creepy. My mom's still alive. It's kind of creepy. How old was she? She had gray hair. You know, but she had. But that would have been. That would have been creepy. You don't think so? Not, no, because all she wanted was her daughter to say what she told. Me. That's true. That's true. That's and so and but, so. But the what? But the. <laughs> Everything with that would be. If you told her that and then she went home and died. Why, why you make it so dark? Dang. <laughs> Some people, you know, you know they, they child. You know, nobody want to bury their child. And then go out in these stores and see somebody that look yeah. just like their child. And then yeah. ask you to do that. And then she go home and just die in peace. Man. Okay, so, so well, so this so makes me feel just, better. Did you do it? Yes, because oh. when she walked out, she was slowly. Why you make that? <laughs> <laughs> you might want to go back and talk and see if I know where that lady lives. <laughs> see if she's still alive. Well, no, because she she was like purposely walking slow and like looking behind her and stuff. Like I'm like, <laughs> and so the lady was like ringing me up, and she um. I was like, Ma, I, it's funny seeing you running into you here. I love you. I'll see you later. I got to get this stuff. And she walked out. And I, she turned and she went like this. I was like, aw. And so they ring me up. And so she said, the lady, $102. Excuse me? And she was like, that was your mom. She said you was going to pay for her stuff. I dropped my stuff. I ran out that door. She was in a handicapped spot. She was getting in the car. She saw me coming. She trying to hurry up and get in the car. And so I went up. I said, uh-uh, you got to come back in here. That's not, I ain't paying for your stuff. You just sat up here and lied to me and did all of this to me. And you over here about to make me pay a hundred and what? I said, get back here. And she kept trying to get in the car. Why she said that? Listen, listen, but wait. <laughs> hey, Shay. <laughs> what you lubricated? <laughs> or did she go? Boom. <laughs> she did boom. That's what that was. But no, look. Look. Let me finish. She was getting in the car, right? She was getting breathed. Hey. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you got got. You should have been looking around. You sure I got got? Look, you should have been looking around. Am I getting pumped? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Look, but no. You said, I'll see you later. <laughs> So they thought about you going over to mama's house. <laughs> you you laughing at okay. me that hard, right? You okay, laughing okay. at me that hard. Let me finish the story. Finish the story. Because, because when she was getting the car, she couldn't get her leg in. So I... <laughs> So you 
went out there and helped to put it in. <laughs> no. I start pulling on her leg. Listen. Listen. I start Why you just not tell me this? Story? Because I was pulling on her leg like I'm pulling on yours now. <laughs> Because I did this joke. I did this joke to my mom and daddy. I did it to Ra uh, Maya and her friend. And they all thought I was serious until I said that part. You didn't make it no better because you laughed at it. Talking about some, did you pull her leg? Did you? You just made my story more and fabricated. I said, did you pull? I said, did you help her pull it in? And that didn't help because I had to say I pulled on her leg like I'm pulling on yours. <laughs> To Cherie, cause at church, the blind girl. Well, she blind right now with the bag. <laughs> she told us that at the lock in, and we all was like, "Dang!" And then when she said, "Pull your leg," we was like, and Brandon was like, "Oh, I get it." <laughs> Look, so I said, "I had." Look, you see what I did? Yeah, okay, I heard you. <laughs> Ooh, look how I'm coming. 